Hello everyone and welcome back to our HSA study channel. Today we're diving into an essential topic, the differences between dry riser systems and wet riser systems in fire safety. Whether you're a building owner, manager or just curious about fire safety measures, this video is for you. Let's get started. In the realm of fire safety, having the appropriate systems installed can make all the difference. Two commonly utilized systems are dry riser systems and wet riser systems. While both aim to provide a reliable water source during fire emergencies, there are significant disparities between them. Today, we'll explore these differences, helping you discern which system suits your needs best. What is a dry riser system? True riser systems are tailored for tall buildings, typically exceeding 18 meters or comprising more than 18 floors. This system comprises a network of pipes and valves permanently integrated throughout the building. These pipes remain empty until activated during a fire crisis. When activated, water is pumped into the pipes from either a fire engine or a dedicated water supply. This water then flows through the pipes, reaching fire hydrants or hose reels on each floor. The key advantage of dry riser systems lies in their elimination of the need to transport heavy hoses upstairs during emergencies. This streamlines firefighter access to water, enhancing firefighting efficiency. Additionally, dry riser systems offer flexibility in water supply, as they can be linked to various sources like fire engines or dedicated water tanks. What is a wet riser system? On the flip side, wet riser systems are typically employed in buildings under 18 meters or with fewer than 18 floors. Unlike dry riser systems, the pipes in wet riser systems are always filled with water. This ensures continuous water availability without relying on external sources or fire engines. Wheat riser systems excel in situations where fires can rapidly spread, offering immediate response without water supply delays. Moreover, they eliminate the need for firefighters to establish connections to external water sources, saving valuable time during emergency. However, regular maintenance is crucial to ensure proper system function and prevent water stagnation. Solving the right system When deciding between dry riser and wet riser systems, several factors must be considered. Dry riser systems are suitable for taller buildings requiring higher pressure delivery, while wheat riser systems are apt for smaller structures. Consistent and reliable water supply favors wet riser systems, while dry riser systems are preferable in areas with limited or unreliable water sources. Dry riser systems generally entail lower maintenance, whereas wet riser systems require regular checks to prevent blockages and ensure uninterrupted water supply. Initial installation costs may vary, with dry riser systems potentially offering long-term savings in maintenance and water usage. By carefully weighing these factors, you can select the system best aligned with your building's needs and ensure optimal fire safety measures. And there you have it. Understanding the disparities between dry riser and wet riser systems is crucial for effective fire safety measures in any building. We hope this video has provided valuable insights. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content. Thanks for watching and stay safe.